Now, what about, you know, the uh, Destiny Bresso 3? Uh, what are your thoughts on that study? Oh, I believe this is another practice-changing trial. We recently published it with Erica Hamilton and Javier Cortez, the data on nature medicine. It was a simultaneous publication concurrently to the presentation of the data at TASCO. So the median PFS was finally 29 months for wow. trastuzumab deruxtecan in the second line versus 7.2 months for TDM1. But the most important thing is that the overall survival was outstanding. Median overall survival was 52 months for trastuzumab deruxtecan versus 32 for TDM1. This is a practice changing trial. I remember that when the Destiny 3 was presented the first time, I was the chair of the clinical practice guidelines and I incorporated TDX in the guidelines before FDA approval. I received the main emails from Medicare and other patients in the United States since the drug was not uh, in any other guideline and there was still not approval from FDA, but the data were so strong that finally you should understand that this is a a revolution in the treatment algorithm over to the positive disease. Now we have dual blockade and taxane in the first line, TDX in the second line, and we are waiting for the Destiny 9 first line that probably will be presented in San Antonio this year. I, I think it's phenomenal. I, I mean, I, I remember when the HER2 story kind of started with Herceptin, Orlando, uh, Florida, and, and then you had the you know, dual blockade, uh, for first line metastatic and then TDM1 became like the, the go to for the second line. But then to have something like this with, with a quality second line to blow it away, it's just phenomenal for patient care. I was there, I was in Orlando, if you remember, when Edith Pertz and Martin Picard presented the data in a late breaking uh, abstract session with George Sledge as a discussant. And then finally, I was also in Chicago when Sunil Verma, a very young Sunil Verma, presented the date of the media trial with wow. TDM1 in the second line. So really, I was part of this history. It was really exciting then, and it's exciting now for our patients, mainly. I, I You know, Dr. Sledge, he, he was one of my uh, attendings at Indiana University a, a, around that time, and it's just... I, I just remember just the passion and the love that, that he had for this. I think it was amazing. But, you know, but something like this sets the framework for future advances. And to have something like this for our patients today and for oncologists to use to help our patients, I think it's just so refreshing and transformative. I think it's wonderful. Uh, any lasting thoughts? Uh, I really enjoyed our conversation today. Any lasting thoughts uh, from ASCO uh, 2024 or anything going on in the future? Now, you know, this was the best ASCO after the pandemics. More than 45,000 people attended, and there were people from all over the world because uh, this year also Asia was there. I believe uh, in the future we need uh, really to empower, uh, first of all, the patients because uh, we cannot talk about patients without patients. It's really essential. This. So we need to focus a little bit more on patient reported outcome, quality of life, and survivorship. But the most important thing I need to see, I saw many young people presenting in several sessions. So we need to empower the next generation of oncologists. It's now time to empower them in order to impact on the future of cancer treatment and on the survival of our patients. And I would like to see more science on tumors like pancreatic cancer and glioblastoma because I didn't see nothing new here. And maybe we need to focus also on this disease. Oh, I agree. I, I think, you know, such a, you know, a fast aggressive cancer like glioblastoma multiforme and pancreatic cancer, you know, it's truly heartbreaking. And so, you know, I'm crossing our fingers. I'll always be a glass half full kind of a person, but, you know, really enjoy talking to you. And uh, I just love your insights and I'll see you in Barcelona. It should be an exciting yes. meeting. Absolutely. Yes, I will be there. See you. All right.